Where does our love story begin? Huh. It's hard to say exactly when I fell in love, but I can tell you the day we crossed paths. It was love at first sight. Not her. Not her. Definitely not him. No, I don't swing that way. I'm talking about his jacket. There was something special about this jacket. And when I saw it pump up that last summer, I knew it was something special. It looked old and yet new, rough and yet refined. It perfectly encapsulated what I wanted my style to be, casual elegance. I needed to know its history. Like much of menswear, it started in the British Army when stationed in South Africa during the Second Boer War. It was perfect. Khaki cotton drill, perfect and lightweight for the heat. It had bellowed pockets, four of them. Epaulettes, a shirt type collar. Yeah, this was something new and good. Later on, it changed a little. And by the 30s, the name Safari Jacket came into existence, being used for safaris. What the heck did you think it was going to be? It's a rare thing to see pure function and pure beauty. But there it was. A functional piece of clothing that happened to be stylish AF. Bellow pockets could carry so much, like cigars and ammo. And there was four of them. Four of them? Four of them. One, two, three, four. Shoot, there is four. Four of them. Khaki is lightweight. A summer jacket. Did you say summer? I sure did. Color blended with the environment. Earth tone. Earth tone, you say? Earth tones, my lad. And it bell to put everything together. A piece of clothing. Worn when killing. In style. The public knew about it with Ernest Hemingway. If only a little. Hollywood loved it. Clark Gable, Roger Moore, Gregory Peck, Douglas Fairbanks Jr. People started to notice. And then Yves Saint Laurent dropped it in his African themed collection in 1968. Welcome to society, Monsieur Safari Jacquet. It was the perfect replacement for the traditional sports coat. Different but not too alien for the slowly casualizing world at the time. Refined enough to wear with trousers and a tie, yet still rugged enough for jeans and a t-shirt. And may even be, if I be so bold to say, the perfect jacket. <laughs> So when did we cross paths? Well, after I recommended Craftsman's clothing for having beautiful safari jackets in a summer trend video, they found it, thus finding me. And after some talking, I was in, and I was in awe. The Hemingway jacket, named after Ernest Hemingway. It's so classic. Four pockets with button flaps and box pleats, half belt in the back with button adjusters to give a slim silhouette if desired, pleated back, full arm movement. The only thing that was removed were the epaulettes. Maybe a bit too distracting to be an everyday garment. And I'm fine with that. I've never been the biggest fan of them myself. Yet, it's more sartorial, more trim, half lined with Bemberg lining, elegant pick stitching, genuine horn buttons with crowfoot stitching for longevity. My favorite, a wide collar, because as Frodo Baggins said, there is no other way. This is the one. <gasps> but wait, the rake is jacket. Its vibes are utilitarian, but lounge. No buttons on the pockets, rounded edges, no cinching, a cleaner belt, a cleaner look, a rakish look. Gurkha trousers, loafers, a turtleneck even. Maybe this is the one. It's perfect. It comes in suede, tobacco suede. <gasps> oh, that's my favorite. I can't decide. I need time. Time to decide. And time to save up. It's a long journey. But it's worth it. Because we will be united. Someday. Soon. Okay, you know what? I, I, I love it and all, but I can't be falling in love sexually with the jacket. This is getting a little weird. Add a new eye for sexuality. Inanimate object. <laughs>